Hey. 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 Haven't you heard? Haven't you heard? AI is changing everything. AI is changing. Everything is shifting. AI will take over the world. Neural Curing diseases. Reversing climate change. Changing the way we live. AI is the new electricity. AI is the new gravity. AI is taking off. AI is everything for everyone. You can know the future. Forward changing. Neural networks. AI will most likely lead to the end of the world. Ontologies are the new gods. Everyone else is in on it. Do you really want to miss out? AI is everywhere. Generative AI. AI agents. Can I help you? Machine learning. AI enables productivity. Everyone's got the AI you need. Go ahead, bolt it together, and build it yourself. Or go with the one with the Hollywood star. In the hype and swirl, something is missing. A voice of reason. The only people talking about enterprise AI on the planet Earth was us. This is a 15-year head start. This is billions invested. This is 100% AI first. This is real value, real results. This is enterprise AI. Welcome, everyone. My name is Tom Siebel, and it is my great honor to welcome you all to C3 AI Transform 2025. Uh, I wish I could be with you here in person, uh, but I'm travel restricted for another couple of weeks, after which you can be assured I will be coming to visit you. We have with us 650 people in the next few days from 250 companies, 50 partners, and we are going to cover a lot of important material. Uh, this event's where you will hear from C3AI Board of Directors, you hear from Jim Snobby, you hear from General Hayden, the Honorable Secretary Rice, you'll hear from Rick Levin, and you'll hear from the C3 management team. In many ways, C3AI is the original enterprise AI company. Okay, we began this effort in 2006. 2006. This is before AWS. This is before Azure. This is before the GPU. This is before big data. This is before the Internet of Things. And we started thinking in 2006 and 2007 and 2008, what was next? What was on the horizon uh, as it relates to computing? We spent 15 years of work building the software stack that you know of today as the C3 Agentic AI platform. So think of the, the C3 Agentic AI platform as a kind of a logical extension of a service-oriented architecture where we have thousands of software services. And these software services are all designed to interoperate together. And the idea was to provide all of the services necessary to design, develop, provision, and operate massive scale enterprise AI applications. And the idea was, when we build an application using this environment, any application that we built would run without modification on the Azure cloud, the AWS cloud, the Google cloud, uh, air gap behind the firewall, and on the edge. And so then we used this, app, we used this platform to build 131 turnkey applications. Okay? And these applications address the value chain of energy, oil and gas, financial services, manufacturing, supply chain optimization, consumer packaged goods, life sciences, 131. If we, if we were to kind of stand back and look at kind of the topology of the AI software stack kind of writ large, okay? At the bottom, we have silicon. This would be NVIDIA, AMD, what have you. Okay, on top of that, we have infrastructure. This would be Azure, AWS. On top of that, we have foundation models, uh, Anthropic, OpenAI, Mixtral, what have you. On top of foundation models, we have a big box filled with bright, shiny objects, uh, data bricks, data stacks, data robot, data this, data that, things that do auto ML and virtualization and what have you. And... For the last 20 years, organizations have been trying to use these piece parts 
to cobble them together into applications that are of value to an organization. Value is in demand forecasting. The value is in customer churn. Value is in stochastic optimization of the supply chain. Value is in predictive maintenance. That's value. That's real value. So we went after the AI stack in, in a very unique way through the applications. And now here it is, March of 2025. And we have 131 turnkey enterprise applications in the market. And another 100 generative AI applications in the market. And we use these applications to bring enormous value to our customers. How does it work? Let's take a look at maybe a DAO. You know, the way it was so DAO is, you know, one of the world's iconic companies. And you know, one of the processes they have is, you know, polyethylene production. If this furnace goes down, it's the end of the world. I mean, it's a big financial event. So we can go into DAO and install predictive maintenance okay, in this polyethylene unit, and we can prevent this uh, furnace from failing. Um, the economics of that are staggering. We'll go into Dow, we'll bring this application live, 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 in production, okay, in six months, six months, for half a million dollars. Then we go out further, and we bring this live across all of Dow's chemical units, same thing at Shell. Shell, we're looking at $2 billion in economic benefit. This is big money. Now, we have the great privilege of doing business with some of the most iconic companies in the world, be it Shell, be it ExxonMobil, United States Air Force, Army, Marines, Navy, Bank of America, you name it. Okay, it's my hope that we are perceived of as strategic partners to these customers. And I think we are, and we'll find this out in the course of uh, this event what we're thinking about, how we're doing this, how we're focused on making sure that you succeed at what you do. Now we're very, very focused on customer satisfaction. How do we measure it? We measure it by net promoter score. So every six months, all of you who are customers participate in evaluating us. Our net promoter scores for our pilot applications is 59. Our net promoter scores for our production applications is 45. And we believe these are the highest net promoter scores in the enterprise application software industry. Those are high scores, guys. And this is what you say. If we go to the word cloud and look at your comments, okay? High performance product, okay? Responsive people, great employees. We'll do whatever it takes to make it succeed. Lots of advancements in the product. There were lots of advancements we'll from version seven to version eight for those of you who have made that transition. Here we have uh, two orders of magnitude uh, increase in data ingestion, okay, 25 times in terms of inference learning. So it is higher quality um, product. There's much lower cost for you to operate with version eight. What we really look at is the detractors. And you know we've spoken with every one of you, okay? Every one of the directors, we call you, we talk to you, you say, what do you mean? And, and the message in the last two years was really clear. Okay, there were really four areas where you're looking for improvement. One had to do with data integration. Uh, we're, we're, we're the kind of the masters of the universe at aggregating uh, any kind of data into a unified federated virtual image. What do I mean by a virtual image? A virtual image means we're leaving the data in situ. We're leaving SAP there, we're leaving Salesforce there, we're leaving OSI Pi data where it is, and we're bringing it a virtual data image. But we've done that historically programmatically, okay? And, and it's very clear that you don't want to do it programmatically. You want to do it visually, point, click, drag, drop. Okay, so we are releasing in the course of the next two days, uh, C3AI Data Fusion. Point, click, drag, drop, okay, and you can you know, integrate the data from the United States Air Force, the Army, Shell, ExxonMobil, into a unified federated data image, track it in real time, do all the logging, you know, data veracity, data governance, uh, data provenance, it's all there. The second area where you told us loud and clear had to do with the user experience associated with these applications. I mean, the user experience associated with enterprise software applications, it's basically, it's dreadful, okay? We're abstracting what's going on in a sales process or a customer service process or a, or a production process or a shipping process or a logistics process. And we're trying to represent that in columns and rows and pie charts and bar charts. And then a number turns red 
and we draws attention to us because the pressure is too high or the, or the revenue is too low, and we click on it and find out what it means. Well, the future is not about that. Your C3I vision is about representing these processes as digital twins. So we're, we're looking at the workflow process. We're looking at the production process for polyethylene. Okay, we're seeing what's going on in the factory floor. And rather than the number turn red, we see the valve turn red. Okay, and the valve turns red, and then we can disassemble the valve. Okay, and we can see the component that needs to get fixed, and we can click on it to tell us how to fix it. Let's take a minute to take a look at C3 AI Vision, because this is really remarkable. The world is rapidly changing. Information is growing exponentially, and the emergence of AI requires new ways of interacting with business data like never before. Experience AI with C3 AI Vision, the immersive spatial user interface revolutionizing enterprise software. For decades, enterprise software has lived on a monitor. C3 AI Vision breaks free from flat screens, bringing your data to life in our three-dimensional world. C3 brings multi-dimensional visualizations, temporal insights, and interactive digital twins together with the power of AI. With C3 AI Vision, empower your engineers to prevent equipment failures with unparalleled context and precision. Enable planners to make life-saving decisions in a collaborative, AI-driven, common operating picture. Equip law enforcement officers to enhance public safety with real-time spatial awareness of their jurisdictions. And level up supply chain managers to optimize logistics, mitigate risks, and visualize end-to-end -end networks geospatially. From the factory floor to the operations center to the boardroom, C3 AI Vision delivers contextual clarity, accelerates insights at scale, and harnesses the full potential of AI-powered digital twins. Experience the future of AI today with C3 AI Vision. The third area that you made it very clear in the last three years is that our documentation wasn't good enough, okay, to meet the needs, particularly to go from scores of customers to hundreds of customers to now we're getting ready to go to thousands of customers. The documentation wasn't good enough. So we've completely revamped our uh, c 3 app portal. Okay, this is the, the documentation hierarchy that we have out there. Okay, okay, in the next three, four months, you will see all of our documentation be replaced. All the computer aid instruction is there. All the documentation is there. I think you're going to love it. Okay, the last area that really has blown up since, uh, I would say, December of 2022 is agentic AI. Okay, with, with generative AI. I think we have a hundred generative AI applications in the market today. Now, there are a number of problems with generative AI. You know this. Okay, you know that you know they, 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 these generative AI applications tend to be unimodal or bimodal. That means you can use kind of text and an image. You can't use all the data. Um, problems with the generative AI applications is that your access controls that all of you have are not enforced. Uh, the answers tend to be stochastic. Every time you answer a question, you get a different answer. Uh, we have problems with generative AI associated with data exfiltration, where companies' data ends up being published on the internet. See Samsung for details. Uh, and you have uh, issues associated with being well documented by uh, Zico Coulter and others at Carnegie Mellon, where we're opening you know, attack vectors for cyber uh, for people to be able to get at our data. Because of the C3AI agentic architecture, we're LLM independent. So as these guys out innovate each other every day, as they will and as they are, you can plug in whatever the hot ticket of the day is, you know, whether it's Llama, McStraw, OpenAI, you know, whoever, whoever has, you know, who's ever hot this week, you can plug that large thing, which model in and take advantage of it. Turning to the business, our focus over the next year is on expanding our partnerships. We are working hand in hand with Microsoft leadership every day and our joint sales and marketing engine is firing on all cylinders. We've expanded our alliance with AWS to go to market in a targeted, strategic way. And we continue to work closely with Google Cloud. 
With McKinsey Quantum Black, we're combining our leadership in enterprise AI with their highly trusted expertise in digital transformation. And we're working with Booz Allen to expand our defense and intelligence deployments. I'm going to be joined on stage here virtually by my close friend and great partner, Judson Altoff, who is the chief commercial officer at Microsoft, uh, to say a few words about the impact and importance of the Microsoft Azure C3 AI Global Partnership Agreement. Judson. Hi, everyone. I'm Judson Altoff, Executive Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer at Microsoft. I'd like to start by thanking Tom for inviting me to share a few thoughts on our partnership and the opportunity ahead. Since 2018, C3 AI and Microsoft had partnered to bring best-in-class digital and AI capabilities to the world's largest organizations, driving business outcomes and delivering tangible impact for customers globally. As we continue to innovate in the era of AI, we've expanded our strategic alliance to enhance existing capabilities and introduce new innovations that will help our joint customers accelerate business value. We've brought together over 130 of C3 AI's enterprise AI native applications with Azure's robust and expansive ecosystem, accelerating the adoption of enterprise AI. Together, we have enabled our customers to achieve a rapid time to value in supply chain optimization, production optimization, predictive maintenance, government efficiency, ESG goal attainment, and energy management. Microsoft is proud to partner with C3 AI, and I look forward to our continued value, growth, and success we will deliver together in 2025. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much, Judson. With that, I'm excited to kick off Transform 2025 in Boca Raton. We, we work very hard for you. It is, the, it is the professional experience of a lifetime to be able to work with you. Uh, it is a bitter dis disappointment for Tom, okay, to not to be here with you in the next two days, but I know that my colleagues are here, my board of directors are here, okay, my customers are here, my partners are here, and uh, we are going to take good care of you and Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please enjoy the event. <laughs>